Okay, this furnace here is the old Coleman CGU model. Uh, it used the drum heat exchanger. Uh, it was actually a high efficiency furnace. I think it was their first high efficiency furnace. It's actually just kind of a modification of some of their older furnaces. They used to have a pilot uh, furnace that was had this one single burner. I'll pull that burner out and you can take a look at the burner. Uh, but uh, this was Coleman's uh, first idea for uh, high efficiency. And uh, probably the first thing we'll do is we'll go over how that burner's set up. Okay, here's the burner assembly out with the gas valve on it. Uh, first, let's take a look at the orifice. Now you can see we just have one large orifice because we only have one burner in this thing. Now we'll take a look at the burner. Okay, here's the burner. I'll point out a couple of things. There is a primary air adjustment here on this burner. It's really hard to tell where you're at when you look inside the furnace to see if the uh, primary air is right, but there is one there. Not all of these had this. Some of the later ones, they were fixed. Here's your hot surface igniter here. Now this one's set up for a flame rod. Some of these did not have flame rods. The uh, Robert Shaw HS780 control that we have on this thing. There's that control there. That's that Robert Shaw HS780. It was not set up for a uh, flame rod. In a lot of cases these things had problems using just the hot surface igniter for the flame sensing. So uh, a lot of these were changed out. What happens with this, the fire just comes out here and it's got kind of a little target there and that spreads the fire out and of course it goes up. Okay, you can see I have this burner kind of jerry-rigged to operate outside the combustion chamber and maybe you can get an idea of how this flame actually works. Okay, you can see the hot surface igniters come on. This is one of the this is one of the long heating hot surface igniters. It takes between 30 and 45 seconds, I can't remember which, <clears throat> for it to light off. Okay, you can see the flame, and you can see how it's kind of spread by that little plate. And uh, it actually does spread out a little more than that when it's in the combustion chamber because it's an enclosed space. But the idea is just kind of spread it out a little bit. Uh, they don't use this burner anymore. They don't use the drum heat exchanger, at least not that I've seen. But this is kind of how it works. Now, you can see there's a lot of yellow in that flame. Now, you can see I've opened this when I got the when I have the uh, primer air pretty much closed, a lot of yellow in that flame. As I start opening it, and that's probably about as good as that's going to get. This is natural gas. It's not propane. But uh, that actually is probably a pretty good flame. It looks like there's a little bit too much yellow in it, but I don't think there really is. Okay, here's a look at it in dark. And I'm going to move the camera around to where it would look like what you'd be seeing through the inspection hole. That's pretty much what it looks like from the outside. And you can see how the flame spreader works on this thing. So that's the first on the uh, Coleman CGU furnace. Uh, we'll talk about the uh, ignition control in the next video.